Day before we become Cambridge 105. Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> hey, this is a good year. I'll have a look at this. Yeah, it is a good view to get a picture anyway on your video camera. Mr. 60s. Mr. 60s, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our favourite gentleman here of Flavour of the Month. <laughs> Flavour of the Month on 209 Radio, soon to be Cambridge 105 Radio, as I've already said only a few seconds earlier. Uh, once a month, every Saturday, uh, 12 o'clock till 12.57 p.m. And listenable thereafter on the 209 Archive, soon to be the Cambridge 105 Archive. So there you go. We're online, we're on FM. And uh, you are on camera with Nick the producer on Feel Good Friday. Every Friday, three whole hours every Friday, come rain or shine, um, from now until the end of time, pretty much, really. That's about right, isn't it? Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to celebrate it. We are. Good way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, we finally live to fight another day. We've been threatened. I mean, just in the time that we've been here, this place has been pretty much shut down about three or four times now, hasn't it? And um, yeah. still now it's come to a, This was the most serious of the whole lot, I think. Yeah. Back in November was pretty serious, wasn't it? I reckon it was, yeah. Were you here for that evening? Yeah, I, I remember that evening very well. Yeah, I was here. Yeah, it was really dramatic, wasn't it? It was very dramatic. Yes, and, it. Um, I remember listening in. It got to about 11.56. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, my brother's here. <laughs> Come to give me something. <laughs> I, I was going to say something offensive, but I won't. Because the whole hundreds of viewers might be watching this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got saved with four minutes to spare. Four whole minutes. Oh, um, brilliant. We just raised that money, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was excellent. Um, yeah. what's, what's been your favourite moment of Flavour of the Month? Or? The best moment, actually, the best moments are um, generally the stress involved. No, the best moments are <laughs> the fact that you're, everybody's working together as a team. Yeah. That you have, in our case, we have four people on our show. And of that, each person is out doing their own individual piece. Yeah. So, from that point, we then have to script all our stuff together and produce yeah. something. And it's because the four of us are collaborating that we have to we have to make something on time, in time, and it has to be entertaining as best as we can. Yeah. And that's that's what's great fun. No matter how stressful it gets, the point is that mm. everybody's doing this because they love it. Yeah. Every show. And um, including yeah, myself. Including yourself. None of us are getting paid. No. We could be doing anything else that we want with our time, but we want. Yeah. 
we, we've got to have a community radio station, haven't we? So. But we also have to, like, yeah. I'd like to think that if I get boring, then yeah. I should know when to stop as well. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's, that's the key moment of it. Yeah. So uh, what actually the favourite show have you had? Or a favourite, have you got a favourite show? Or? Um, <laughs> I suppose you could say that your favourite show is always your most recent show because you're constantly trying to improve yourself. Yeah, right? well, the one that you've done, which is Flavour yeah. of the Month, so, of course. Right, we've just done our February edition. Yeah. The January edition was very good, but we screwed up on our times very bad. Yeah. So we one segment was cut short. Yeah. And we felt very bad about that. So we tried yeah. our hardest in yeah. February to make the best show and learn from all our mistakes. Yeah. That's what this whole thing is about it's always constantly learning. Exactly. New learning new skills. Yeah, yeah. So for example, I did my first ever interview. In yeah. February. Yeah. Because usually I'm just behind the desk where I'm scripting and I'm working the dials. I'm not actually interviewing people. No. This time I did. It was brilliant. It's yeah. good fun, you know. Uh, and that's what this place offers you. It gives you the opportunity yeah. to learn new stuff constantly. Yeah. Well, if we if we do pull through, we will be Cambridge 105. Exactly. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. You know, we got um, loads of experience with that and um, doing that. I think the key point is that each one of us now is responsible for this station. Yeah. In terms of making it known, in terms of trying to bring in some more revenue for it. Yeah. I think maybe that's one of the things that we tend to fail on is that everybody is devoted to their program, certainly. Yeah. But there needs to be more than that. As Matt Webb said on the radio just now, yeah. everybody has a responsibility to contribute more than just their own show. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. We need to we need to help this place. Yeah. We need it. Yeah. 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 Not well, just getting new members. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We need lots of that sponsorships. I've not exactly gone out to find anybody. Actually, that's not that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got our latest member, I think, onto Flavor. Uh, I kept saying she was very, very good and she is a very good person and that's why we got her onto the show because I thought she would bring a certain extra dynamic to the show. She was yeah. very passionate about food and she was very passionate. She yeah. was a perfect choice. But yeah. it's not like she came to us, we actually had to get her. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think there's a good thing that we can do about that. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you met anyone that you think they'd be good on Feel Good Friday, yeah. Could you get them on? Yeah, you could do. You could get a, an extra like co-host or something like that. Yeah. Or even not even that. What if you found people that were interested because you tell them what you do? Like, yeah. Oh, I quite like to do that. And you, therefore, it's your job to be able to say like, well, there are plenty of opportunities at Cambridge 105. Yeah, of course. You could become part of the news desk, part of the research team. Part exactly. of the editorial team, part of the yeah. programming committee, you could become a member in any yeah. way, shape or form you choose and you can choose to learn as much as you want and also teach as much as you want as well because that's one key thing that we need here is lots more teaching. Yeah. I think, um, I think there's plenty of people here that want to do radio and radio presenting. Absolutely. People who want to do all the correct level of editing and the professionalism that we need in order yeah. to be able to be um, not necessarily enthusiastic like about it. Yeah. Yeah, but. That's something I aspire to, you know. I want yeah. to become a little bit more like them so that we sound like a very good professional outfit. Yeah. You know, we're not here just to be a bunch of, uh, not layabouts, but we're not here to, to just kind of do this in a very hokey kind of, yeah. we're having fun, who cares way. There's a reason for all this. Yeah. There's a reason Carl started. Exactly. He started from a bedroom for a, for a start. Yeah. And but we've been going on for nearly seven years. Seven years, yeah. yeah. Also because he was a very passionate guy yeah, about radio. Exactly. We are very passionate about radio programs. We need our community station for Cambridge. We do. We need it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my thanks to the obviously the uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the man of all time of flavour of the month. Absolutely fantastic. The only one on flavour of the month. Yeah. <laughs> the, the only one can of. You shake hands? Yeah, we can. Uh, can we see it, mate? Yeah, we can. Yeah, okay then. Um, my many thanks to Matt Webb, of course. Okay, I'll say that before we just sign off. Um, yeah, uh, I've, I've really enjoyed quite a few bits. Maybe I should put the camera on to you. Okay then, yeah, that, I'll put it on to me then. Have a little look through at me. Oh, there we go. I'm here. 
You've got enough time. Because uh, I don't think you've actually been on this camera. No, I haven't. <laughs> that was the thing, yeah. I've enjoyed most of it. Because um, we started at the same time, didn't we? We were both in the same yeah. broadcasting code. Yeah, we, we met each other on a Saturday, I think it was. Our, our, our Good memory, better yeah. memory than me. <laughs> yeah, I think it was anyway. Um, and yeah, Whoops. ever since that I've enjoyed getting involved and um, it's been exciting. It's been great to get the confidence and... and Your confidence has gone up in leaps and bounds, yeah, you know, since you started, uh, definitely. A, a bit up and down, but I mean, on, on, along the way, on the journey of it. Yeah. But, um, I mean, great confidence that I can even walk to a pub and enjoy myself with yeah. no problem sometimes. Yeah. That's on occasions, that is. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, I won't go into that. But <laughs> mostly, yeah, my favourite bit has been doing my show, really, most of all. Yeah. Um, it's been quite... Um, it, it, it's exciting, entertaining, and um, well, it, it's just been good. Yeah. It, you know, it's a great opportunity for people to get involved and and get confidence up for for especially co-hosting like I have done myself. And I, I've really enjoyed every opportunity that I could ever get imagine. <laughs> and how have you found that that three-hour format of your show? Because that is a long time to be on air. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, I've been um, just about managing to get up every morning, basically, <laughs> from six o'clock in the morning, yeah. and and getting the um, bus up the road from where I live, yeah. and and of course going down into the town and getting that canoe bus that goes straight through, and and straight just in time for our show. Yeah, and it's just been marvelous. It's been quite time-consuming, but um, it, it's it's been it's been great. Yeah. It's been massive. Yeah. It's been massive. It's been a wonderful experience for me and something that I'll never be able to forget. Yeah. I roll on Cambridge 105. <laughs> I had to end with that. Okay. I've got to say, I wonder how, how, did, how the hell do you manage loo breaks in a three hour, hour programme? Loo Cause breaks? I, yeah, you know, like when you need to nip to the loo or oh, things loo. like that. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 going to the bathroom, going to the toilet or anything. Yeah. I know what you mean. Do you just nip out during during yeah, yeah, songs yeah, and stuff. During the show, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, it is. Is is, is um, you know. Uh, I, I, I sometimes find it hard. Yeah. But when I'm like in the kick up the eighties or something like that, I always ask me. I go there, and he says that's always fine. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Most of the time I get through it, but um, yeah, it, it, it can be a problem, <laughs> as we all know. But um, oh yeah. Uh, I won't go into detail, but no, 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 no. Let's not do that. This is, this is a family show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I want to be proud of what I've done, and uh, it's, it, it's been an amazing achievement. Yeah. I mean, uh, my many, my many thanks goes to Carl Hartland. Um, despite the voting process, and um, um, I'll support him in any way that I would do. You know. Yeah. And support the Cambridge. Well, we've done that by uh, voting for them. Well, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. we have, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just by voting, no matter what you're voting for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and just the vote counts. And I, I just support it in any way. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope that Ofcom will let us have it. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Oh, okay. Then. That's what we're all here for. Um, that's not a very interesting bit. That's just the Roof, no. <laughs> but you know, this is where it all happens, I guess. Uh, yep. So, you know, the kind of the magic starts here, and uh, also in our own minds, of course. And over there, I suppose, as you've recorded this already, yeah, I have this already. This is where yeah. it all happens. So, yeah, excellent. Yeah, and we, um, hope it's still there. <laughs> and this is what we'll carry on doing for a little while to come. Yeah, but keep our fingers crossed. Keep our fingers very crossed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we just about see that? There you go. Crossed. That's the fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we party on the night. Here we go, I shall pass you back the machine. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much everybody. I'll just film myself for a minute. My many thanks to... Oh, God, oh am I going too close up? I better um, whiz it back. Oh, that's better. Um, yeah, my many thanks go to, of course, Matt Bentman for, for his fine interview and um, fine questions he asked me. <laughs> and let's hope for the future of your show, but um, who knows what happens. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? That brings the end. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.